My name is Professor Timothy Barrett. Uh, I'm a paediatrician based at Birmingham Children's Hospital and I have a research team at Birmingham University. So this is uh, Wolfram syndrome, a rare condition, very rare condition, less than one and a half a million, mainly caused by one gene, uh, life limiting, affecting most of the systems of the body in one way or another. And it's really not a diabetes disorder, it's a neurodegeneration disorder. There is no cure and there's no treatment. Can we slow down or halt the progression of the disease? I'd always thought about trying to develop treatments for rare diseases, thinking in terms of how long it takes to develop a repurposed drug compared to re developing a, um, a novel compound, and thinking that a repurposed drug might have the advantage because you'd have to do less toxicity testing and looking for cancers and others. So it's a little bit shortened to the timeline. So the first part of this, uh, a couple of drug targets came along, found in 2013, at the suggestion of another colleague, Dr. Zhe Zhenaji, who is an expert in neurodegenerative disorders. I said, why don't you look at cell cycle and cell cycle regulators? In 2014, we used high complex cytometry, choosing drugs that were already on the formulary, that are already known to increase their cell cycle regulation expression. And we thought, as this disease affects children as well as adults, let's choose ones that are already licensed for use in children, and because this is a neurodegenerative disease, let's try and find drugs that were known to cross the blood-brain barrier. So using those criteria, we picked up 26 drugs that we took through this process and found five that seemed to have an effect. And the best one of those seemed to be sodium valproate, a well-known drug used to be used as a first-line treatment for treating epilepsy, but 40 years' worth of uh, toxicity data, well-known side effect profile. And then finally, we got to EMA orphan drug designation for a repurposed drug in 2015, at this point, um, and we're about to start a phase two clinical trial of that repurposed drug in 2017.